What God cannot do does not exist. Are you sure you keep that testimony when Satan fights? When all the option you had in the flesh has been knocked down. Can you still believe what God cannot do does not exist? You see, before I confess things, I, I try to understand them. When I heard that thing, I said, no, this is too weighty. People say, what God cannot do? Do you think it's a catty tune? You know, something catches, oh my God. It's for soldiers. You see, spirits, sir, they don't rush. You can come to a spirit now and you are dropping 10,000 here every day. You say you want to cut a covenant for wealth. That spirit can watch you do that for 10 years. Because spirits know human beings. They are inconsistent. So after 10 years, the spirit will come and say, okay, it seems this guy is actually serious. And it actually means what he says. They will ask you, this 10,000 you've been dropping for 10 years. Why, you've been why have you been dropping it? If your God is the one, that, sharp, sharp, you will meet Satan soon. Because Satan is the one that gives miracle without any process. So you have something in time, but you have nothing in eternity. The way God blesses people is that he blesses you with substance, but first your soul has to advance. Your soul advances so that your substance doesn't hold you back. But the one Satan gives you, he tells you your soul don't need to advance, but that can advance the wealth into your hands. If a man is prayerless, he will become offended by your prayer. Not because he hates you, but because he knows he's supposed to be praying. How many people follow the leadings of God that way anymore? Our leadings today, babies, you know, God led me and I got a bank job. Has God ever led you to resign? You will now know who are truly Christians around you. Did they tell them, ah, by the word of God? They wanted to give me a managerial position in UBA, but the Lord told me to resign. Resign, do what? He told me to resign, sit at home and pray. There was, um, this comes, has come. What we call the wisdom of the spirits in our generation is actually the wisdom of the princes of this world. Yes, there's a difference between Holy Ghost and Python. Python is an ancient spirit of wisdom. When the Bible calls Satan a serpent, He's talking about Satan who is an ancient wise one. Because in scriptures, wisdom is synonymous with the serpent. Do you think you can fight that being of wisdom? If you, you will be shocked that at the pinnacle of what you call my Christian faith, Satan is standing there with Jesus. Yes, there is an image that has been pushed. And that image is the image of Satan and Jesus standing at the pinnacle of the temple. May we not find Satan at the pinnacle of your worship. You thought there was one Holy Ghost Father we born Satan. Satan passed through the temple. Even the worshippers sir, did not know Satan had climbed upstairs. Two things he wanted to know. Are you, if you are the son of God, prove it to me. This is what this generation commands you to do. Yeshua said, we care than adulterous generation. Seek for sign. Why are you giving them what they want? Sonship is not proven. Sonship is known. I don't need to turn bread to stone for you to know I'm a son of God. It's known. The Bible says Yeshua, knowing he came from God, knowing the Father had given all things into his hands, and knowing that he was going back to God. You can be in this world, and you can be one of the ancient ones, whose life has become eternal. Eternal life is the life that transcends the body, that transcends the material world, and you can be in this body, yet your life has now become eternal. This is life eternal, that they may what? Eternal is in your knowledge. Know him, the only true God, and Yeshua Hamashiach, who he has sent. To know what is the end of eternal life. You want to become eternal, know, and then raise people who know. Yes. And when you raise people who know, your knowledge will live through them. 